Hi, welcome to the Rittner Floral School in Boston, Mass. I'm Dr. Steve Rittner, and it's a pleasure to welcome you into one of our classrooms today. The time of year, December, the theme, Christmas. But more specifically, we're going to be spending a few minutes in this video talking about one of my favorite products, holly. Holly is an absolutely great stuff. Huh, in the old days, they believed that it drove off witches. Today, we use it decoratively for all kinds of Christmas designs, and it is magnificent. Look at this stuff. Isn't it amazing? It is just so beautiful. The berries, the foliage, it comes in the green variety, it comes in a variegated variety that has uh, a little cream around the edges. It's fairly easy to take care of. Generally, to take care of your holly, you just keep it in a cold place, but don't allow it to go below freezing. Before you use it, in either foam or water-based uh, materials, it's a good idea to scrape the, uh, the bark off the end. We can scrape the bark off the end with a florist knife. If you don't have a florist knife, even just something as simple as a hacksaw can be used to scrape the bark off the end and helps it bring out, take up the water a little bit easier. The thing I like about this particular product is it's so beautiful in and of itself that it practically designs itself. Look, we have one bow in here, taking a second one, placing it in, and look, immediately, it gives just a beautiful effect. You can come up with a beautiful effect with your holly material simply by taking a couple of bows, placing it into a cylinder, and then placing it around the home. It is absolutely gorgeous stuff. Now, there are other things that we can do with it, too, and we want to spend a couple of minutes showing you a few ideas. Most of the time when you see this particular product used, it's used as an accent. But in this particular video, we want to show you, my viewer, how you can take your holly and actually use it not as an accent, but as the main course. In other words, really featuring the product itself, not as necessarily something accented with other stuff. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my container. I have a very nice container. Uh, it is a container provided by the folks at Super Moss. It is absolutely great. It is a container that has moss actually attached to it. And we're going to make a little basket using this stuff. And I think you can see that the holly practically designs itself. All we have to do is just take it, drop it in. Lo and behold, we can come up with some great effects with this particular product, quick and easy. And that's what Rittner Floral School is all about. We believe that floral designing can be quick, easy, and fun. And the thing that I like about the holly is it's so pretty in and of itself that it doesn't require a whole lot of effort to make a lovely display using this stuff. And I'm coming up with something that is very, very simple, very quick, easy, and I think you can see that you can get your holly, break it up into smaller pieces, and that's essentially, that's what we've done here broken our holly into smaller pieces, and then taking these smaller pieces, we can take them, place them into a container, and notice, in this particular case, we are not featuring, in this design, um, anything else. It's primarily holly. Oh, I might use a few millimeter balls later in this design for a little decorative effect, but the main course in this particular unit is our lovely holly material. Look at how this just fills it in so quickly, so easily. As I said, the stuff practically designs itself. Taking a couple of bows and putting it into, putting a couple of bows into a cylinder of water is one solution. Taking some of our holly, and we're featuring both the holly as well as the berries, and placing it into a container or a little basket. And notice, my viewer, how this is coming together very, very quickly and easily. I could leave this the way we have it here pretty much on its own, or we could take some of our millimeter balls and take a couple of clusters. We could put one cluster in, or possibly two clusters of our millimeter balls, and look, my viewer, how you have a lovely vase arrangement made up primarily of holly. It is beautiful, it's quick, it's easy, and it features this magnificent product. Now, to give you an idea, once you see this one, it opens up all kinds of things. For example, I'm showing you this particular piece using holly as far as a foam-based solution. Let me move this over a little bit, my viewer, and we can see a companion piece, which is similar in some ways, but different in others. 
This second piece is using a container. It happens to be a glass container. The glass container has water in it. So what we've done in terms of foam also translates as far as water-based designing as well. All we have to do is simply take the pieces of our holly, insert it in, and we can come up with really a nice effect. It looks kind of wild, but I think that that's part of the charm. This particular kind of material feels like it's all over the place. It feels a little bit wild, and I think it gives a very, very contemporary kind of twist in terms of a very uh, classical holiday. I think it really works quite well. Now, we can do things that are in foam. We can do things that are in water. We can also play with the concept of scale. In other words, we can go from small to large on the use of our holly. Once again, most of the time when you see holly, they use it as an accent. In other words, you see something made with balsam or fir and a little bit of holly is worked into it. Uh, that seems to be typical, but what we'd like to show you, my viewer, in this particular presentation is how you can take holly and make it the main course. In other words, feature the holly itself. Here is another example and of a design featuring mostly holly. Now, if you look at it, what we have here is a container. This is one of those boxes that you can pick up to put a bottle of wine in, but we've taken it, put a container inside of it, put some foam inside of it, again, using the same technique that you've seen before, creating the design using the holly, using also some of our millimeter balls, pine cone, and a little touch of ribbon that kind of also ties in very nicely with the container. This gets a, a kind of a glitzy kind of effect, and a lot of people love this kind of an effect uh, during the holiday. We have also a little bit of our uh, balsam and fur mixed into it in terms of covering our mechanics on it. But notice that we've gone from one extreme to another, from something that is a simple, small basket to something that is a little bit bigger in this particular design to come up with, again, the theme of holly for the Christmas holiday. Let me show you another one, my viewer. Our staff has been working very hard so that we can come up with some great ideas to show you on the use of this wonderful product. In this particular case, the theme is again Christmas. The base on this one is a drum. Isn't that cool? It's actually a basket, but it simulates a drum. And again, we have our basket. We've got a liner in it. We've got some foam in it. The use of the holly goes out here, goes out here, 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 gives a very, very dramatic effect. <clears throat> and we also have used some of our millimeter balls. But notice in this particular case, we've added a few carnations. And the use of the carnations where they're red, tie in very nicely with the millimeter balls and also the red of the drum. The green works well with the green of the holly. It is a lovely design. And again, the major player in this particular arrangement is our holly foliage. So you can see, my viewer, don't consider holly just as an accent. Consider the use of your holly rather as something that can be a main event, a major player in terms of your designing. Make use of it. Use it and use it profusely and look at some of the great effects that you can get with this product. Now, there's going to be one other thing I want to show you that I think you're going to find interesting. Here is another example of the use of holly. <clears throat> Again, a container that is a kind of basket type container, a liner built into it, holly shooting out here, holly shooting out there, holly shooting out here and here. Uh, it is absolutely amazing. Uh, there's something that we can do also that I think gives another added dimension to it. <clears throat> the hat is kind of reminiscent of some of the folks who used to go around and sometimes still do uh, in traditional garb, and they sing, they sing the carols, they may have musical instruments. <clears throat> we can place a design like this, but we can also place a little nutcracker that happens to have the same kind of hat tying in the theme, so now we have a cute little grouping. Something like this may work very nicely, for example, in a bay window uh, or other place where you want to come up with a nice display. But once again, the concept is holly, here, 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 shooting out. Fill the thing up with holly, add a little bit of our ribbon, and you've got a beautiful display. Now obviously you want to keep the holly away from your animals 
and also little kids. But this is a really, really great material, and I think that it is something that you may want to consider as far as something that you can use very, very nicely decoratively in your designing. Well, we've covered a lot of ground. We've shown you how you can come up with a very, very pretty little holly basket, how you can come up with just a couple of boughs to come up with something very pretty in a column. We've also shown you different ways that you can use holly, just throwing it into a container to come up with some great effects for the holiday season. Our staff has been working very hard on this. On behalf of all of us here at Rittner's Floral School, we thank you for coming in and visiting us today.